The Annie Drug and Alcohol Art Show at the Eastwood Mall's Art Outreach Gallery was the idea of Trinity Hobbs, a senior at the Trumbull Career and Technical Center. Last year, I lost my aunt to a drug overdose, and uh, a lot of people in my family deal with the addiction. And I just happened to see Anti-Drug Alcohol Art Gallery show. Tony Aducci grew up in Liberty and now lives in Austin Town, where he had a piece of original artwork done in 1968 which in 1985 was given to him by a friend, also from Liberty, named Carl Dominic. I think I'm gonna go with this and see if I can give Carl a little credit where credit's deserved. It shows a man in a drug-crazed state surrounded by pills, money, bars, and the letters LSD. I was just like, wow, this is really intricate. It has like a lot of elements to it and a lot of different objects. And I'm sure they all like come together and tell a story. It won first place in the two dimensional category. I would have been more shocked if it didn't really. It's that good. I, I couldn't believe it when I heard it. As a matter of fact, it um, kind of made me I cried. We talked with Carl Dominic, now 70, from his house in Virginia Beach, where he still has paintings hanging on the wall. Dominic says the piece was based on a friend who was an addict who spent time in prison. The time he was in jail, that's when I painted that. And uh, it was just because I felt sorry for him, and he was a friend of mine, and um, I thought it was right to, to paint it and put it down in history, you know. And here we were. 50 years later, still warning people about the dangers of drugs and alcohol. It does show you, you know, um, things haven't changed very much, have they?